What is up everybody and welcome back to another video of Heyday. This is Supersite and we are going back into our farm which I have just leveled up to level 9 and it is great to be a level 9 farmer. I have just recently leveled up and I was meant to get it on record but I accidentally ended up cutting through a few too many, oh we have a deal, a few too many sugar canes which led to me leveling up. Anyway, we are level 9, and I, I'll be able to see via this what we unlock. So we unlock three fields, which is good to have. And do we unlock anything else? Uh, oh, we got a barbecue grill. That is good. Oh, oh, we have our sugar mill. We have our sugar mill. There we go. So we have unlocked the popcorn pot, so we can now start producing popcorn, which is great. And there go all the awesome butterflies flying around which is really nice so our machines have finished and we will finish harvest right so we are going to put that on and cut that we also have unlocked butter in the dairy so we have butter there and cream there so we'll continue pr producing cream for now but i will find out which one is more profitable i will find out the profitability of the popcorn as well so we have two visitors here, and see they are asking for saws, which is really bad because you can get so much profit from using the saws with fruit trees, which I'll talk about in a later episode. Right, so they're just they're just getting greedy now with their deals. So we have more things sold, which is awesome. And oh wait, have we? Oh yeah, we have unlocked. Uh, where's the building? Right, the barbecue grill, and that produces pancakes, so we'll put it right there. So that's eight hours away, and we will need brown sugar for those pancakes, but yeah, we, we can afford to sell off them for now, because we'll be able to make some in the meantime. Right, so we've done that. We will collect some eggs and get some cows finished. Right, so we will now check the daily dirt, see if there's anything interesting in here. That, oh, that there, that is, oh, no, that would have been a bargain if I bought and resold that, but unfortunately, doesn't work like that. Could buy that. Oh, yeah, we'll do that. So, four eggs for 61 coins, and then we'll go back and sell them, resell them. Right, so, and that's a decent deal as well. But I will have a full barn. Right, so four egg uh so four eggs, if we sold them for max price, they would have sold for seventy two, so therefore we have made eleven coins from that resale. But I want to sell them all, so we'll do that, and then we'll buy these eggs and we'll resell them. So we are making profit. Oh, we just got some more coins. Right, so we are making profit from reselling these eggs, which is awesome. Okay, so our eggs of sale, and we'll put some corn for sale, although we'll need some for our popcorn pot soon. Right, so our chickens are almost all ready, and okay, so we're putting that on, and it's just getting back everything ready. Okay, every all machines are now going, which is great, and we have unlocked all that. I guess we didn't get a diamond from leveling up anyway, and a request... Which is bad because that is eleven dollars per egg is basically what she's saying, but eggs actually eighteen dollars, so no sorry. Right, and we will check uh let's see that one, no, that one, no, that one, two butter. I'll have to determine that. I don't think I don't know, that's not a good one either. But that one might be. I'll I'll yet to see. I have to work out that. Right, so we have that going. Now anyway, back on to the topic of this episode, which is achievements. So, here are all the achievements which are great. Right, so, basically achievements, what they are, are they, they are like things that you can complete, and if you do it, then you will get rewarded by getting XP and diamonds. So there are 132 achievements, and... There's three different levels of achievements for each of them. There's uh, that one, the green, the blue, and the red. And anyway, they all have... Well, most of them have sort of similar reward patterns. Like, most of them have one diamond for that, two diamond for that, three diamond for that. But there are some variants. Like, some of them go like 1, 5, 10, I think. 
yeah, some of them start with one and then go five, then ten, and then there's one that even gives fifty on the last one. And these two don't give, they don't give, uh, XP and diamond rewards. Those two bottom ones give different decorations. Now there are different levels of difficulties to the different achievements. Like some of them are far harder than others. So what's a quite a difficult one? Uh, there's different things like 28, that's actually quite easy, but there are like, catch a total weight of 6,000, like, kilograms, we call it in my country. Right, so, that is, yeah, quite a difficult one, then there's like, that might be difficult, but there's different levels of, uh, this one here is hard, 15,000 leaderboard points. So that is a very difficult one. Now, there, yeah, you have to slowly go through and you start with, so, Cha-ching is the one that I've made the most on, so that was make 200 coins in sales at my roadside shop, and that is make 5,000, and then we're aiming for 25,000, which won't be too difficult. So that one will be one of the easier ones. So I've worked out in total the amount of diamonds you would get if you completed all of them with max 3 would be 417 diamonds. So that's actually a lot of diamonds to get in total, so if you completed all of these to three, you'd, you get a max of 417 diamonds. Now, the total amount of XP, which are calculated, now, it might be slightly off. I, I tried to get it accurate, but I might have missed one achievement. Anyway, I, I got a total of 120,290 XP. So, I'll repeat that. 120,000 290 XP. So that's basically the equivalent of just leveling, leveling up to level 46, and then you've got like 1 XP or 0 XP on, on level 46, and if you then collected all the rewards of all the achievements, you'd immediately level up to level 47 just from achievements if you'd completed them and saved them all. So yeah, that's basically the total amount, because some of these have like 3,000 XP for all these different ones, so it, it's quite significant, and achievements are always good to aim for, because you get the diamonds, which are key, and then there are the, there is the XP, which is sort of okay, it's like, I like the diamonds more myself, but that's up to personal preference. Now there is uh, an achievement that gives... 50 diamonds for the third one, I'm not sure which one that is, but I will find that out for you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different ones, and some of them are time ones, like, for example, Turbo Trucky, you have to get a whole heap of them all at once, like within 30 minutes, it's a whole heap of, you have to harvest heaps of things, but yeah, there's a, this one might be, might be Boat Score Hunter, that you get the 50 diamonds, I think it's that one, because that is an incredible achievement to get 15,000 leaderboard points, that's quite difficult to get. Right, so we'll just collect that. So yeah, that is that is the achievements, and I will just put some of this on like that, and see if my stuff is sold. So we've had some sales of the brown sugar, and we are maxed up as per usual. Right, so we'll sell some cream. Right, so that's for sale, and we will sell our eggs off, because they're getting annoying filling up my barn. Right, so yeah, back to the achievements. Yeah, 132 of them, and... There, there would be a few people at the top that have completed them all. Like, I'm sure there's many, many people. But, yeah, it is very difficult to complete all 132. But that will be the goal. That's my goal, to complete all 132. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till I have got every single achievement. And then all at once, like, all, like, I'm going to collect them all at a certain level. And I'll just... I'll have all three, like, up to three, like, I have all those maxed, every single achievement, all 132 completed, and I won't collect any of them, I won't claim any of those rewards, and then I'll just claim them all at once, and I'll get a massive bonus of 120,000 XP, 290, as well as 417 diamonds. So I'm yet to determine which level to do it, it might be from level 99 to 100, and I work out exactly 120,290 XP less than that, and so then the last, like, third or a quarter of going to level 100 will be just on achievements, so I'm yet to determine, but first, before I speak about what I'm going to do with all my rewards that I collect, I have to get the 132 achievements first, and I'll be going through in future episodes showing different ways to complete them that are pretty self-explanatory as to what you have to do. 
So yeah, that is basically it for the achievements. Or also, the more achievements you complete, the bigger this this townhouse gets. It will like get expansions and keep getting bigger as the more different things that you complete. So yeah, that is the achievements. They are a really good thing to do. And so that will be my goal to slowly go through and well, hopefully fastly go through. And no, I can't buy that because that would I'd make a lot of money on that. I'll sell off five. Even that won't make enough, because I'll still, uh, yeah, because I have, to, I'm out of room, that's really annoying. So yeah, that will, that, that will be the goal, to complete these different achievements, and it will take a long time, but I will slowly get through them, like some of them, the uh, Derby Champ, 40 plus 15, that's 55 plus 3, that's 58, so that's going to take over a year minimum to complete the Derby Champ. First I have to get to level 18 to create the neighbourhood, and then I have to be in 58 uh, Champs League Derbies, and that's assuming that I'll be up there for 58 weeks. So the minimum amount of time that it takes to complete this is 58 weeks. It might actually be longer because there might be other ones that you can't complete quicker than 58 weeks. But I'm guessing Derby Champ is probably the longest one ever because that, that is an extremely lot of derbies to be in at Champs League. So yeah, I'm guessing Derby Champ is the is probably the longest one to complete. But that will be the goal. That's the one that I'll be aiming to complete. Right, so we have this and we can now... If the newspaper hasn't refreshed, yeah, it hasn't, and if someone hasn't bought this, which they have, I could have then resold it. Anyway, that's just how it rolled. Right, so our farm is getting up pretty nicely. We're level 9, we've got all our production machines in work, and our... Oh yay, we can upgrade our barn! So we will upgrade our barn, which will increase the storage to 75 as well as, like, then we will have freed up the three spaces of one bolt, one blank, one duct tape, we will also have an additional 25. So potentially, like, for a short period, of, well, we'll have, like, it will be like freeing up 28 spaces, if you know what I mean. Right, so there we go, we have upgraded our barn, and it looks awesome with that thing poking out the top, that will be the extra 25 items, we'll be storing them in there. Right, so now we are going to need two of each, so we're going to need two bolts and two planks to upgrade it again, and then that will increase the storage to 100, and so that will be good to do. And there we go, so that is not worth it, because two breads are worth 21 each, so that's 42, yeah, 42, and they're only offering me 30. So in a double coins event, that would work, but in this case, no, it's not going to work. And then I'll just quickly check these again, so bad bad and I'm gonna work oh bad yes bad and so I'm gonna work out that one and we have sold more things which is good and we'll just check if there's we can sell off sugar cane because we've got so much of it growing and yeah that is I don't think I'll sell anything more because I'm I've got lots of barn storage which is awesome and I'll just quickly check this oh bolts that and can I even afford that I can I don't know if I should have done that. Well, I can resell them because they will sell immediately. But now I have a lot of bolts, which is kind of good. And let's see, if I buy these, I can resell them and I will make profit from reselling them. Anyway, now I've got a ton of bolts, which now I'm bankrupt, basically. Now I could, I could resell these, which I'll get, since I'm such low level, I'll get 22 coins off each of them. So that will be 44 profit just from those. Right, so I will just continue selling off the corn like this. And, oh yeah, I still got some room, and now I'll try and regain those coins which I just spent on bolts, so I've got plenty of bolts now, now it's just the planks I need, but because I bought so many bolts, I won't need to get more bolts for a while, but I'll continue buying them, because as I said, buying up, upgrading the barn and the silo is one of the most important things you can do, so always buy just like that, if you have the amount of coins, and if you have space, you always want to buy it, and so then I'll be able to upgrade and then hold more, but I'll need to keep up by making enough coins. So yeah, that will wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned some stuff about the achievements, and I'll be going more in-depth to the individual ones and aiming to complete them and showing you me completing them in future videos. But this one was basically an overview of what the achievements are and at what benefits they are. And so yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a comment to what you think about the achievements and how many you have completed and stuff like that. 
please tap the B to subscribe if you haven't already, or if you have, it will take you straight back to my homepage and check out some other videos. Thanks again, this has been Super Sight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.